what's up guys how you're doing i see i gained some subscribers hello welcome to the family <laughs> i'm so happy to have you here don't mind me this is not my regular behavior but i'm so happy to and I'm, I'm so happy and excited to have you on this channel thank you for stopping by and just clicking on the subscribe button please do not forget to also turn on your notification bell so you'll be the first to know anytime I put up new videos. And before I forget, my name is Elo Zino and I'm a content creator based in Abuja, Nigeria. Once again, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. So guys, let's talk about what everybody has been talking about. I know at this point it's already a stay news, but that was a major event in the history of Nigeria. And also it was a big deciding factor of who stays and who leaves and what next to come what am i talking about guys i'm talking about the tribunal judgments i'm not yet to really talk about it i'm actually yet to ask some few questions after a long lengthy dragging proceeding in the tribunal courts well the judges unanimously not unanimously well the presiding judge pronounced a judgment and said the petitions i hereby dismissed Accordingly, I affirm the declaration and return of Bola Amir Tinubu by the Independent National Electoral Commission Annex as the duly elected president of the Fair Republic of Nigeria. In as much as some people don't want to hear it, your president and my president was, or rather, is the original, um, original and duly elected president of Nigeria. Talking about President Bola Amir Tinubu. Now, nah, yes, I know, I know. Some obedience and some article gates, they don't want to hear this. But it is what it is at this point in time. But guys, come to think about it. Were you expecting that um, Peter B was going to win the judgment? Were you guys expecting that? But no, let's be serious. Were you guys actually expecting that he was going to win <laughs> in Nigeria? This same Nigeria that we are. Come on now. Come on, guys. Come on. I, I wasn't... Well, I wasn't really expecting him to win. I'm sorry, but that's my that's my that I, I I I guess I'm free to share my opinion, right? Kindly share with me your thoughts if you felt Peter Obi was robbed of of his victory once again and he was supposed to win this tribunal judgment. Well, meanwhile, guys, um uh, Peter Obi has said that he would not accept the judgment and once again he has cried out, cried foul that yes. The judiciary were once again wrong and he's headed to the Supreme Court as well as Article. They are both headed for the Supreme Court. So let's see how that turns out to be. While you guys are here crying foul, the president is in India rejoicing about his um victory. Uh he's in India for the G20 summit. While the president is in India rejoicing about his victory and talking about his times while about his time while he was at Deloitte. The vice president said he was going to retire Atiku Abubakar to some, what's the name of that place? I will retire him to Pombina. I will buy him goats, broilers, and layers <laughs> so that he can spend his days <laughs> rearing goats and broilers. Mr. VP, that was some sort of expensive joke, don't you think so? Well, guys, coming to my question. Do you guys think that Peter Obi has a case against the president Bola Ahmed Tinubu? Do you think the judiciary did him dirty? Do you think the judiciary is corrupt like what majority of Nigerians are currently saying? If you do, please feel free to share with me your thoughts in the comment section and tell me what you honestly think about the tribunal judgment. Do you think Peter Obi would have won? Or do you think Atiko would have won? Feel free to share with me your thoughts in the comment section. As for me, I knew he wasn't going to win. So even while my friends were talking about it and we were anticipating for the big day, I was sort of quiet and I was looking at them. Well, guys, please feel free to share with me your thoughts in the comment section or what you think about the tribunal judgment. Once I come your way again next time, please stay true to yourself and remember it's love for me. Bye, guys.